Hey guys, I have a few great color changes for you guys to learn today. So, without further ado, let's get on with the performance and tutorials afterwards. Okay guys, so obviously some cool color changes, uh, so let's go through them, uh, starting with five. Okay guys, for the fifth color change on my list, it is called the, uh, uh, just a double lift color change, I guess you could call it. Basically, it's just using the double lift, and if you don't know what that is, it's turning two cards over as one, like so. So it'll look something like this, turn the two cards over, and you saw the six, you give it, you know, some sort of shake or something, spin, and it changes to a seven of hearts. So let's learn how to do this. Uh, so I showed you it was two cards already, but all you're doing is flipping those two cards, like so, and then you're dragging them back across, making sure not to show anything, pushing back down, taking the card off, you know, give it a little spin, show the three of clubs, hand it to them. That makes, you know, a big change. Uh, so make sure you do that. Uh, and that's the first color change. Okay guys, now for the Erdnay's color change. Uh, basically, you're going to uh, take two cards again. So one, two, doing a double lift. Okay, so one, two, flipping them both over. And uh, always when you have color changes, make sure you have contrasting cards because it looks really nice. So when you're doing this change, all you're doing is using the fleshy part here and the fleshy part here in your hand. You're going to start with this part by pulling up the card, up to there, concealing the other card, like so, so it looks something like that. Then after you do that, you're going to take it and pull down with this part of your hand, the card down, so it breaks past underneath the card, so it goes back here. Then all you have to do is push with this finger up here and push down here, covering the card all the way down and it makes it look like it changes. And if you wanted to, you could throw on a double lift there and hand them that card, spin it, changes back to the ace. Okay guys, now for something that's called the twirl change. Uh, basically you're going to have the card here now what you didn't notice was I actually picked up another card under it. And that's what the twirl change is based off of. You're going to be taking the card underneath and just spinning the card around, like so. Now let's learn how to do this. You're going to take this card off the top, so you can just start out like this, turn it over, and you're going to take this and get a break. So just push off, get a break under that card, like so. Now you have it there like that, right? All you're going to do is pretend to just pick up the card, like that. Making sure not to show any corners, anything like that, or any gaps, you know, in the side. So you want to make sure you hold it nice and tight, like that. Then what you're going to do is hold it with your middle finger over here, and your thumb over here, and take your middle finger here, and your thumb here, and hold the corners, like that. So now you're in this position. Middle finger, corner, holding the deck here, right, and whatever grip you want. So basically, I'll show you that again. That's the move. Now how to do this. You're going to take it, put it in the grip you had, and use this finger, your index finger, to just push it around. So you're going to use your pointer finger to just push that around, just like that, right? 
So you're gonna, let's go over this again. You're gonna take it, have the double side there. You're gonna hold it there and just shake and twirl it at the same time to give the effect. The card has completely changed its face. Okay guys, for the next color change, this is the shapeshifter color change. And I've actually taught this on my channel already, so I'm not going to go too in depth. But basically the idea is, you start out the same way with the twirl change. Okay? You're going to grab the corners with your thumb and middle finger. And adjacently, grab with your thumb and middle finger on the other hand. And all you're doing is spinning it off like this, dropping it back on top losing that card and showing this card to the person. So you could check that out on my channel if I didn't explain it well enough already. Okay guys, and now for my number one pick for the best color change, in my opinion. So basically, as you saw in the performance, the card just completely changes in front of the spectator's eyes. So, all you're doing is double lift two cards, flipping them over as one, well, right? After you've done this, all you're doing is this move. This with my hand not there. That's the move. So with my hand not there, all I'm doing is flicking the card, and if you throw your hand in front, it gives the impression the card's changing. Right? Like that. Now, all you're doing to do this move is holding your thumb on the corner, because if you don't, the whole deck will fly up like that. Right? So all you're doing is holding the corner here on your thumb, and your pinky on the other thumb. And your pinky is what's doing the pulling. Okay? Something like that. Obviously, these fingers here, you have to adjust the way you'd like because they're just there to be stabilized, stabilizing to the rest of the cards. So after you've gotten this grip with your thumb and your pinky, you're going to just practice pulling and just putting it back. Pulling, put it back. Pulling, put it back. Once you have that down, then it all comes down to timing. All you're doing, flicking your hand in front and covering that. So you can see the difference there. Now you're probably wondering, how do I get that card out of there? After you've done this move, all you're doing is pushing it under with this hand there. So now you could show the whole entire deck, right? And show that it's not there, right? So we'll go through this one more time because it's a little bit of a difficult color change. Remember, thumb, pinky, stabilizing fingers. You're going to pull it as your hand jots in front, and then you're going to just push it under with both of your hands. Move this card and show the audience the selected card. Thanks guys again for watching this video, I really appreciate it. Um, so far I'm having a lot of fun with this channel. Um, I feel like it, it could take off and it could get you know a lot of views, so I just need your guys' help. And I plan to keep doing this for, you know, a pretty long while. So just keep helping out. And um, hopefully we'll get somewhere. So don't forget to like the video after leaving if you like the content. Uh, and also, you know, just keep, just keep practicing the magic. Uh, and there you go, guys. Uh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Whoa. That was bad.